Well, you know, one thing we haven't had on this show recently is a good old Tennessee barbecue joint. However, Susan Watson is going to change that. She's taken us to a father and son operation in Murfreesboro that's known for its chicken wings, but goes by the name of the Slick Pig. When an accident sidelined John Robinson's athletic hopes in college, he turned from baseball to barbecue. The result was the Slick Pig, a restaurant that has definitely hit a home run with his customers. My scholarship was over, really wasn't doing too well in school, so I decided to open a barbecue. John took an intensive business course and went to work at a barbecue restaurant owned by a family friend in Georgia. A year later, he felt he was ready. And at age 20, this young entrepreneur opened the Slick Pig here in Muffersboro with the financial backing and full support of his parents. John had a detailed business plan in place and had developed a secret marinade for the meat. His father, Jerry, supplied the family recipe for the now famous potato salad. We had baked beans and coleslaw, but we came into where we had our potato salad. as my mother's old recipe. I just tried that on a gamble. I'm going to see if I can even remember it. And fortunately, evidently, <laughs> it came together because it goes out here with the gallons now rather than the pints of the quarts. With that little smoke wing flavor and just some a good homemade product, we, could, we had a chance of survival anyhow. If we get into it, you find out you really got to hustle and go. In the early days of the restaurant, the Robinsons printed out flyers, made batches of smoked wings, and left their mouth-watering calling cards at offices all around town. Word slowly began to get out, but it was a catering job for a thousand people that saved the slick pig from possible extinction. And then we got that order. They, they paid cash for it, got that, and I was like, man, I just held on to that money and never looked back from that day on. I, I couldn't file bankruptcy, so I was like, heck, I'm gonna have to make it work. And that's what we did. When you take a seat at the Slick Pig, you'll find plenty of pork to pick from. But the real star of this show is no pig, my friend. It's the chicken. Mouth catching, <laughs> habit forming. It's just something in the marinade now you can have a smoked wing all day long. You can go buy a raw wing and throw it on a smoker and it still taste blah. It's just gonna be like a smoky flavor. But you gotta have that marination that we came up with that we use. And then there's a certain way you gotta marinate them. And then on top of that, you gotta have a certain amount to marinate. So it's a lot of tricks that go into it. Well, I must say, there must be some sort of universal unwritten barbecue rule that makes barbecuers get a little, uh, shall we say, evasive whenever one innocently inquires about secret ingredients. <laughs> that's it, you said the key word, secret. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's one we um, put together here, and that's just, uh, that's the way it. So you're not gonna tell us? We won't tell no, anybody. We, uh, <laughs> if you wanna get a franchise, maybe we'll get you a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> We run these at 225 and that'll be all night long. Well, it's no secret that Slick Pig customers love what John and Jerry cook up. About a thousand pounds of hickory smoked pork a week and sometimes as many as 13,000 wings a day. I'd like a country plate. Uh, let's see here. Let's also do uh, 10 wings and sweet tea, please. Not only is Slick Pig a favorite with the hometown team, it's also a palate pleaser for barbecue connoisseurs like Tim Schuster. Well, I'm a Memphis boy and uh, love a lot of barbecue joints down in Memphis and uh, Slick Pig here in Murfreesboro is the only thing I found to come close in Middle Tennessee to my high West Tennessee standards. My gosh. Great state of California. <laughs> How you been doing, brother? Good, good. And uh, when you, and see you. I'm glad you did. When did you get in? Last night. Oh, bless your heart. When Norm Nafseer flies in from California to visit family, a pilgrimage to the Slick Pig is always a must. It's just good old barbecue, you know. It's country. It's not the city stuff that you go into McDonald's or one of them joints. It's good stuff. Good food. John's accident years ago may have cheated the sports world out of a Hall of Famer. We'll never know. 
But one thing is for sure, it was a lucky break for fans of the Slick Pig. They appreciate some of the best barbecue around, served up with a big helping of down-home hospitality. And John and Jerry appreciate the folks who have made them a winning team. Our customers have been a success story, really. And without them, we wouldn't be successful, I'll tell you that. So uh, evidently, they think quite a bit of us, and I let them know. And, uh, and uh, we've just been a blessed business is what we've been. The good Lord just uh, keeps blessing us. We'll, uh, We'll be here.